This video will help you to make use of the scraps that you cut off the bottom of your pants and make a bow tie. You start with a pair of pants that you just purchased that have not been hemmed. And you want to take this time to cut off the bottom of the pants so that you can hem your pants and save the scrap. In this photo, I have taken the two pieces and sewn them together at the top and the bottom to make one tube and then I press them down. I next take the tube, fold it in half, and take the ends and overlap them. And as you can see here, I have sewn the two pieces together and I've sewn through all thickness. This is what the tube looks like after I have sewn the stitch right down the center through all three pieces of fabric, all thicknesses. Here I have taken the remaining fabric from the other le pant leg and sewn it together to make one long strip. Now you want to take this fabric and you want to split it right down the middle because we're going to join the pieces together to make one long strip. So here we have the two pieces cut in half and now we're going to join them together at the short end. Once they've been sewn together they become one long strip. Now we can close them up and sew them so that they turn into a tube as well for the band around the neck. Here I have pressed the seam that I used to join the two long strips together. I pressed the seam out flat so that it lays flat when you turn the tube. Now I'm taking the fabric that I just pressed, I'm folding it in half, and I'm sewing a seam allowance of a 5 8 or however wide you want your band to be. Just sewing one long tube. As you can see, here we have one long tube. We're going to have to turn this tube so that we can use it on the right side of the fabric. Here I'm using a turning tube, which is a lot easier when turning smaller things. I have taken the fabric and scrunched it down onto the tube in which I will later insert a pigtail to turn the fabric from the wrong side to the right side. Here you see my pigtail wire is inside of the tube at the end and it's pulling my tube or my band out of the turning tube. And as you can see as it comes out, it's coming out on the right side versus the wrong side. Here is the finished tube after it has been turned from the turning tube. I am now pressing the tube flat so that the band will lay snugly and nicely around the shirt collar. This is what it looks like completely pressed. Here I have taken the actual bow which we sewn earlier and I have laid it on top of the band which I just pressed and you kind of want to lay it about center of the band. This is a leftover piece of scrap that we did not use in the band and we're going to use this for the knot that will wrap around the center of the bow to give it the scrunched bow look. Here I'm cutting some hem tape um, that's an iron-on tape. I'm cutting it down the middle and we're going to iron it in on each side of the piece of scrap so that we can keep as much of the width as possible. Here one side of the fabric scrap is pressed and you can see I have the hem face, the hem tape laid on the other side and I'm going to press that side to keep the scrap wide. Here you see I'm pressing it flat so that it will glue uh, the two pieces together. And this is what the scrap looks like with the two pieces ironed flat and glued down. Here I've used a pin to scrunch the center of the bow so that we can wrap the knot around and I have the bow centered on top of the neckband. Here I have removed the pin and I've taken some thread, the same color as the bow, and wrapped it around the center of the bow to keep the bow together until I can put the knot around the bow. I place the knot on top of the bow and I'm going to wrap it around and cut the excess to make the knot. I've marked the knot with a pin and I'm going to cut the excess off, wrap it over and finish it off. I've cut the excess and now I've wrapped it and marked it with a pin and I'm ready to hand stitch it. This is the finished bow with the knot and uh, wrapped around the bow and the neckband. 
I've taken one end of the band and I've ran it through both of the D-rings and I've secured it with a pin and I'm going to sew it down with the sewing machine to make it secure. In this photo, you can see I've got the band underneath the sewing machine and I'm stitching it in place so that it doesn't come undone. And here is the finished band after it's been sewn on the sewing machine. I'm taking the other end of the band and I'm hand stitching it together to close up the hole. This is the finished look of the end after I've closed it up. And there you have the finished bow tie. Just shape it and put it on and you're ready to go. Well, as you can see, I finished hemming the pants and they have a nice cuff on them and the client has a matching bow tie ready for him to look suave.